Hello, this is again a Cleantech Business Club you know, from InterSolar after two years of lockdown. And uh, actually this is the special talk uh, because today uh, there is a birthday of Anis. So Anis? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Joyeux anniversaire. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> and uh, actually yesterday we had a nice evening yes, with Anis. Enjoy. Uh, like, you know, in our family. And uh, I would like to thank you Anis also on behalf of all the members of the club that uh, yesterday uh, so many members, they came to the booth, we had our Pleasure. Together We Are Stronger meeting. So you saw already on LinkedIn a lot of uh, thumbs up, yes? Yeah. So, so it means, you know, that uh, the energy is again back. Especially it's very interesting because uh, Ines recently announced Ines 2.0. So not just solar, but really to drive the transformation uh, in the country, but also globally. And uh, Cleantech Business Club also launched Cleantech 2.0. So actually we have now, you know, two initiatives uh, that are working together. Sanis, so first of all, I mean, how do you feel actually? You are not feeling overloaded, a lot of people yeah. after lockdown. It's really a good surprise. When you came here the first day, you see how it looks like. And suddenly you see uh, humans are happy to see humans. People are getting in touch together and uh, everybody was, was almost laughing, smiling with a few keywords. Uh, we need production in Europe. We need to invest in Europe. We need to get it local. And it's, it's really new spirit for, uh, for InterSolar this year. And so you think it's great, yeah? Actually, it was really amazing. Because me, I didn't expect. No, it's, it was more than expectation. Oh. It's a different, a different mode of doing things, and preparing, of course, 2022. But it was really lovely, and you, you feel comfortable and very, very, very busy three days. And how, how do you feel you know, about all the uh, guys coming here and uh, when they hear about uh, Ines 2.0? People all the time, they are curious about innovation, what you are doing today and uh, what, what I can get from you in order to improve my, my business model, in order to improve my business. And uh, they are looking to us with adding this part which is was existing at Ines and now it's raising up, which means that we were known making better cell efficiency, high efficiency, high power and of course economically viable. And then adding module and system, of course PV system, and then pushing harder the integration, integration at the economical level, integration at the electrical level, integration at, at different aspects of what we are doing. And people are seeing it, that we are completing the scope. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, almost ticking the three boxes, cells, module and system, and the relation with the network, mm -hmm. with the grid. And also, also, you are not dealing only with energy, but also with immobility, e exactly. uh, with all the solutions. Yeah? Exactly, yeah. Immobility, e and of course, we are taking care about the module, whether it's in floating surface, still the space, and we see it's a wide range. This will help us to bring a lot of innovative idea, mm -hmm. which can be a future spin-off of Ines, and this is one of our new target in order to bring a new industrial, I would say, initiative around that. And that's why you are also working with Cleantech Business Club, and you exactly. are one of the leaders, yeah? Yeah. Clean Tech because Business you are Club, not just France, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Cleantech Business Club is bringing to us the global approach, and not only from technical point of view, it's also from human point of view, from society need, from uh, financial world, which, uh, which they are speaking another language which we need to understand in order to bring an added value. Mm -hmm. And together, it's, it's almost uh, a nice mix, a nice mix which will save time, help us to save time and to bring this to, uh, I would say, to, to the right end in a very short term. Mm -hmm. And also we had uh, uh, a meeting today with Aika, Professor yeah. Weber, and we discussed about uh, this next event, the first ever in history actually, uh, that will unite financial sector with business and with the science, yes, to have the joint uh, roadmap, how to scale up together. Exactly. Do you think it's important? I mean, when you are putting around the table Nobel Prize uh, people with, uh, with, I would say, experts from, from technology and science and uh, with brilliant people from industry who succeeded to make an ecosystem and putting them around the table. Guys. Exactly, and financial guys. Putting them around the table uh, for one target. It's, it's, it sounds easy, mm -hmm. but in real it's very, very complicated. Mm -hmm. And now it's, this is the spirit of, of Cleantech Business Club, and I like it. And it's easier also on the human-to-human -human basis, not on exactly. the corporate. Yes. Exactly. exactly. And everybody is getting the positive aspect from the others in order to push it from one level to another. And this is really good. So, Anis, uh, we have here you know, this beautiful uh, picture. Yes. I'm very happy because very soon uh, 
I will be staying there quite often. At this place, we are launching very soon a clean tech startup hub yeah. and also SMEs hub. Exactly. Yes? So because startups, especially for their uh, disruptive technologies, they are so important. Yes. Yeah. It's. I would say this is. This is our home. Our, our home. I would say our homeland. And uh, and we have really a brilliant team in there and with the nice facilities. And of course, what we are working for is innovation for industry mm -hmm. and uh, in, in order to bring an added value to the industry. And of course, startups creation is one of them. And having also uh, the Clean Tech Business Club pushing this initiative with us around Ines, this is more than perfect for us. So Anissa, also I have a question because uh, France is known from big guys, yes? Like yeah. Total, like EDF, like ENG, yes? And this big guys actually will be also the drivers of the transformation yeah? because we cannot make a transformation Without with these big guys yes and how do you how do you feel because you are often in touch also with NL yeah? because yeah. you work a lot with NL and uh, regards to Francesco Starace who received one of our awards uh, yeah. a few years ago so how do you see you know the attitude of these big guys and do you feel that they just you know observing observing or they are really starting to act I think it's uh, before 2020 and after 2020 situation is completely different mm -hmm. and uh, we are seeing a strong move whether it's uh, next era in US or energy power in Italy or, or total in France who changed the name and moving with renewable of course from a renewable side who has a solar spirit and solar personality we want more and more but we think that they are on the right track and in moving the right direction in order to give to renewable and to solar and to PV the right place because now they are having a good business with energy they are getting they are having nice profit and this allow them I would say to invest on in renewable immediately and 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 to bring this nice mix around uh, for energy whether it's for France or for other countries we think that they are on the right track of course from our point of view we want more and more um, some of them are, are our partners for long term and others we are in, in very close discussion and hope we we'll bring them on board uh, soon for, for the complete equation. We don't want only downstream in Europe, we want manufacturing in Europe. It's, we, I took the example of, of the bottle of water all the time. We don't need to keep the plastic and looking for the water. We need to have all in our hands in order to get it in a fair and free way for our future. Speaking about the future, so uh, with our e-convention, well, we had like 150 leaders around the world. We were discussing about this after COVID world, yes? And uh, we came up with the declaration to 2030 because yeah. we believe that this transformation actually will uh, more or less finish in, during this decade, yes? This is the most important decade. Exactly. And as you remember from our video with Tony Siba, this decade, will impact the world like a couple of centuries yes yeah. so from your perspective how do you see you know this this decade and do you think that after this decade we can go you know we can be retired uh, i think it's it's which is which is fantastic and amazing with energy every time we think that we reach a milestone and and maybe it's still not clear for the next it's opening many doors at the same time and when we when we think about pv and wind and decreasing the price of those technology and having today half of, uh, of, of a terawatt or it's 0.7 terawatt already installed and 2022 will be the year when we are reaching a terawatt installed you see that the question to tomorrow is not a huge capacity or it's not whether it's technology is acceptable this is done mm -hmm. so now there is a new question how can we secure that this cake is not concentrated in one part mm -hmm. and it will be shared in 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 you know say in a reasonable way and that we that renewable renewable is linked to job creation and job creation everybody is pushing for it and it should be worldwide uh, there is no clear equation of PV, of energy mix per country every country have it and there is a lot of development which should be by country by region by specification and at the end it will be a common and global effort for one target which is carbon neutrality mm -hmm. and I think every country has a part of it which can do it and of course the key word from our point of view will be all the time innovation and how to do it differently mm -hmm. I will not say the word smart but how we do it in a different way and more productive and more straightforward in order to gain time 
because we don't have a lot of time to reach the global target for, uh, for reducing the, the gas emission. So now you see, because I wanted to mention at the beginning, but now you can see that uh, Anis really uh, deserves our Solar Future Today uh, award. Yes, thank uh, you very that, much. That uh, will announce officially on 25th of October. And the ceremony will be in Abu Dhabi in January 2022. So Anis, congratulations. <laughs> Honored and thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. And as we always say, together we are stronger. And uh, I think yeah. that uh, thanks to guys like Anis, you know, we can always uh, make it not just like a slogan, but we can introduce into life. And this is the most important, yes? Yeah. So Anis, uh, what is at the end always? What we do? Thumbs up for solar. <laughs> and Thumbs for up. all the humans pushing renewable to, uh, forward. Thumbs up. Thank you.